Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to uh, do a brief introduction um, of the ADB, the Android Debug Bridge. Uh, ADB is a, um, a debugging tool used in Android. Um, you need two things in order to follow along with this tutorial. Uh, the first thing that you need is the Android SDK tools. You don't need the full Android SDK, you don't need the emulator, um, you don't need to download Android Studio, uh, you, none of that stuff. Uh, also, you need to make sure that your device, your Android device, uh, it's connected to your computer in the developer's option, uh, you are in developer's mode. Uh, you know this uh, if you have the developer's option available in your phone, and also make sure that you uh, turn on USB debugging otherwise you're not going to be able to detect your phone uh, so those are the two requirements um, uh, to follow along with this tutorial so the first um, command um, notice that I'm using a um, I'm mirroring my Android device on my uh, on my computer also notice that I'm using Linux I'm using Ubuntu uh, but basically the commands are pretty much the same um, as ADB it's available it's cross platform is available in Linux as well as in Windows so the first command that I want to do um, it's ADB just make sure that you have ADB installed once you connect your phone using your ADB um, using your USB cable do ADB devices and that should give you a list of all the devices connected to your um, to your computer. That means that if the device is listed, like you, like you can see in this case, it means that you have successfully uh, configured or connected your phone to your computer and ADB is actually talking to your device. Um, if you don't see your device listed, you can always do ADB um, start server. And uh, you can also do ADB kill server if you if your server is already uh, running you can do ADB kill server and restart your server so those are the two commands that you can do to stop and start the server um, uh, like I said before then use ADB devices to make sure that your device is connected if not then you're gonna have to um, probably download a specific driver for your phone um, uh, this uh, the next command is ADB shell this one is going to if you're familiar with Linux and uh, shell scripting and or batch scripting in Linux uh, you're not going to have a lot of problem moving around and doing basic stuff in the, in the Android shell which is pretty similar with a few exceptions they have their own uh, proprietary commands for package manager and uh, I believe application manager and a few others that it's not going to take you too long to learn so if you press enter you're going to get the um, uh, the Android shell uh, from here you can do pretty much any basic Linux, com Linux command uh, for example if you want to become root you can type su press enter uh, but because my if you want to become root in your phone your phone needs to be rooted otherwise you're not going uh, you're not going to be able to access the, uh, to become root um, once you become root, you're going to have a lot more freedom on the things that you can do in your phone. Um, another one is PWD. I'm going over to a few basics command before I get into uh, ADB specific Android commands uh, because it's essential to know how to move around inside the shell um, as well as do a few basic things. So PWD is going to give you the, uh, the working directory where in the uh, in the directory three uh, you are located uh, you can uh, do cd to cd into another directory for example i'm going to do cd sd card and uh, that is going to take me inside the sd card uh, directory i can also do ls minus la to print long format as well as hidden files i'm printing the content of my sd card and uh, I can clear the screen, I can create a file, I'm going to say touch um, logs.txt 
and uh, lsla minus l logs that txt and that is the file that i just created i can remove a file and uh, i can exit out of the shell and that is going to take me back into my prompt into my computer batch script into my computer uh, command so those are kind of basics command to move around inside the shell um, um, another command that I uh, you know a silly command I call it it's just to I do ADB actually get inside the chill and then do input text hello world and you should see it uh, there you go you can see it now uh, inputting the text inside the uh, the Google search uh, bar and that's pretty much going to do a search for hello world um, another command um, to kind of manipulate the Android camera is ADB chill screen cap this one is going to take um, a screenshot of my display um, so I'm going to say minus P and I'm going to store it inside my SD card directory and I'm going to call it screen cap that PNG and it's going to take just a little while uh, next I'm going to go inside my actually but I have the uh, I have the picture right here so apparently it did work even though I provided the wrong uh, directory so it captured the image and then put it in the, the root directory um, of the internal uh, storage so that that is uh, how you can take a uh, screen capture of your display you can also uh, record video of your display of activity so I'm going to say ADB chill screen record and uh, I'm going to name it um, stream video that mp4 I'm going to press enter and I have an error so I'm going to recall the previous command and I'm going to do SD card and I'm going to press enter and this time it is actually recording so I'm going to do a few things I'm going to open the browser and um, also I'm going to head back into my home screen I'm going to open my camera and um, in order to stop it you can do control C and I'm going to go inside the shell I'm going to do an LS actually I'm going to going to go inside SD card I'm going to do an LS and um, this is my video capture right here so what I'm going to do now I'm going to actually before I get there I don't want to pull it into my computer yet since I haven't covered that but I this is the video so I'm going to open it so you guys can see um, how well and how uh, the, uh, how good the resolution is actually is okay so that is the that is the other command so um, the next command is to use the camera your phone camera to capture a picture so I'm going to exit out of the shell and to clear that and I'm going to say ADB shell am since I'm going to start an application I'm going to say start minus a android the media that action that still 
image camera. And I'm going to press enter. And notice how that starts uh, the camera on my, on my Android device. Now, the next command is going to be a key event that is going to actually send a, um, an event into the uh, shooter in order to take the picture. And that is uh, ADB chill input key event 27. And that's the number and I believe it already took the picture um, but the mirroring uh, application didn't quite capture it so I'm going to head back into the file manager and uh, if I go inside the DCIM directory inside camera I believe it should be this one right here and uh, that is the that is the picture I believe yep that was the picture actually I should have uh, pulled it from here but it's pretty much the same thing so the next command is uh, to pull uh, or copy documents and files from your Android device to your local computer. So let's say that I wanted to copy the uh, screen capture that I that I did. So I'm going to say ADB chill, actually ADB pull the directory SD card and I believe the name is screen cap that PNG and I want to place it inside my desktop I'm going to press enter and uh, I should have it right here okay so that's how you copy something from your phone into your computer um, the next um, command is, go is going to be how to copy a file from your computer to your phone. So let's say I'm going to create a file called um, mydocs.txt. Actually, I needed to create it in my desktop. I want to be able to see it. I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to say next adb push and I'm going to give it the path to my document. Pretty much you have to switch around the parameters now and uh, where I want to put it, SD card and I'm going to press enter alright so I encountered some error here, here when I try to push my docs that txt file inside in, to my phone and the reason being is that I didn't have any data inside so basically what I did, I echo hello world into my uh, text file and then I tried the command again and this time it worked. Uh, so I got 100% transfer. So if I go inside ADB chill and I do ls minus l sd card uh, ls minus l sd card um, here is my file right here. So it did work. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to exit out of the um, Android shell. Okay, so the next section we're going to cover, it's going to be about package management with ADB. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, it's going, is going to install an application or sideload an application. That's what people call sideload. It's when they have an application they installing not from the um, Play Store, but you know, an application that they have in their computers. So I'm going to say adb install, and I have a package called NetDroid, which I uh, I wrote myself. So um, you know, be supportive enough and, and check it out. Um, that APK usually Android application um, have the uh, extension of APK. So I'm going to press enter. And of course, I provided the wrong path. 
as the application is actually inside my desktop directory so I'm going to press enter in that the installation depending on the size of the package um, might take probably a few a few seconds um, I believe probably between uh, this one is going to take probably between five and ten seconds probably it's going a little bit longer than I expected okay here we go so we got the success uh, a message um, the next thing I want to do I want to uninstall uh, using ADB to uninstall that package so I'm, or any package but I'm going to say ADB uninstall and I'm going to say net droid and if I press enter it's going to give me an error because when you are uninstalling something using ADB you need to provide the whole package the full name of the package in order to get the full name I am going to do ADB shell package manager list packages net droid that's the name of the package I'm looking for and that should give me the full name for that package and that is what I'm going to use in order to properly uninstall the package so I'm going to go back into my ADB uninstall and I'm going to paste that uh, as a parameter to my command so I'm going to press enter and uh, it was uninstalled successfully if I do again uh, PM list packages net droid you probably will not find it there you go so uh, the next um, command it's uh, similar to one that we just use ADB shell PM which is package manager list packages and this is going to give me all the packages that I have installed uh, in my Android application this is this is, this is a very useful command um, by itself it's kind of uh, you know you can get overwhelmed with so much data uh, but if you know how to properly um, grip or parse the output for example let's say that I wanted to find out the uh, package for my music application so I can do uh, I can pipe the output into grep and type music and that is going to give me the music default application that comes with Android and you can do this for any package when you want to find a specific package or a specific application another package manager command that I wanted to cover is the reinstall um, command so if, I, if you wanted to if, if, an, if an application is actually um, misbehaving or corrupted and uh, you want to fix the application one of the last thing you want to do is to have to wipe everything and reinstall but if it comes to that you can use adb shell pm install minus r to reinstall uh, the thing about this command is you have to give it the path um, where you are going to install the application and, and when you don't know the path uh, you're going to have to go into a different command so I'm going to open another window here and uh, I'm going to get the path for, uh, for a specific application that I want to reinstall so I'm going to say adb shell pm path and I'm going to provide the uh, full path the full package name so I believe it's org pc tech tips that net droid and that's going to give me the path to that application which is this one right here so I'm going to copy it from here and I'm going to paste it here and uh, without the backslash so next I'm going to say APK that's the next parameter what is my um, application is inside desktop and it's a NetDroid APK so I'm going to press enter and that is going to reinstall the application but when you reinstalling it you need to pass mm, the, uh, the path uh, as a variable and uh, it should be about to finish
Okay, here we go. And um, the next section is application management. How can I, for example, the basic things that I wanted to do, for example, starting an application. Let's say that I want to start the uh, the package or the application from the package that I just installed. So let's say that I want to say ADB shell AM for application management. I believe if I'm wrong, please correct me. Install. Actually, that's wrong. AM start and in the, the path um, to that application. And usually all Android applications have a, um, a main activity uh, file that is responsible for launching the application. So every time you launch an application, the main activity file is the one responsible for starting it usually goes to the main page so i'm going to press enter and i have an error i'm going to clear the screen okay so i made a mistake i actually gave the path or the uh, the path actually the correct path it's the package name followed by the full path to the main activity application. So I'm going to say NetDroid and let's see. And now we have successfully started an application. So how can we stop the application? And that is the next uh, the next command. So we're going to say ADB chill AM force stop and I'm going to give the path to the package and the user um, that is running the application, I'm going to say current, press enter and that should close the application and of course I misspelled the application name one more time Here we go. Let's try it again. You can either you can either do current or you can eat, you can also do all. There we go. So now it worked. The next command is to find out what is the application that is actually uh, open in the uh, on the Android device. And let's say that I have um, Amazon, the Amazon application open and uh, I want to know what's the current open application so I'm going to say adb chill dump sys, dump sys is a great command we're going to see uh, more stuff from dump sys at the end of this video I hope, don't, I hope not to take too long uh, in completing this video so I'm going to say window Windows and I'm going to pipe that into grep and minus I to ignore case uh, and I'm going to say focus. I'm going to press enter and that is going to let me know that the current package open it's Amazon.mshop Android, which is this one. Um, I can exit out of here. And uh, let's say I'm going to open the camera and I'm going to repeat the same command. Now, this is the current uh, open uh, application display. So, the next section is going to be about process management. For example, how to get a list of all the processes running in your system and uh, there might be more than one way to do the same thing, uh, but if you're familiar with Linux, this is not very difficult. So I'm going to say ADB chill PS 
and that is going to give me a list of all processes running. Um, let's say that I wanted to find the process for my current open application, which is NetDroid. So I can do adb shell ps and grab that into uh, NetDroid. And that is going to give me uh, data about that process. The process ID is this one right here, 289.74. So if I wanted to kill that process, I need to become root. Um, we know that the way to become root is by doing su, but the actual command is adb chill kill 9 and then followed by the uh, ID number, the process ID number, which is this. This is not going to kill it, by the way, because I don't have enough um, authority to do that. I'm not root. So it's probably giving me operation not permitted. But if you become root, this is one way you can uh, stop the process. Okay, so the next section is going to be about obtaining network information on your device. Um, the command that um, it's available on most Android devices is uh, adb shell net cfg. However, this is not true in all cases. For example, in this particular Android device, it's not available. Uh, but you know, there are more. There's more than one way to achieve the same result. So we can do adb shell ip address show, and that is going to give me a listing of, of all my um, uh, network interfaces as well as the IP addresses. I can also get information on a specific IP by doing adb shell IP address show and WLAN 0. And that's going to give me only information for my wireless uh, card. I can see that this is my IP address and uh, this is my broadcast. Um, you know, and uh, we have um, IP version 6 down here, and so also another command is route that is going to give me it says route is not currently installed, of course, not if I type it inside my <laughs> shell. I can say adb shell, adb shell route, and that is going to give me my routing table. Um, Another one is, uh, for example, if I wanted to configure um, an IP address or a DNS address, so I can say set prop net the WLAN 0 DNS, and I'm going to set it to 4.4.4, and I'm going to press enter, and uh, of course, I keep typing the commands on my computer chill. Here we go. Okay, so uh, we are getting near to the end of this tutorial. Um, so the next section is going to be about getting system information. Um, so I'm going to say adb shell dump sys. This is a uh, great command. It gives you lots and lots of information. Um, if you want to, one thing I usually, I actually like to do is to dump all that information and put it inside my, uh, in a text file of my computer so I can later parse it for more information. Um, so I'm going to say blue um, dump system dot text and uh, notice the file being created here in the background. It takes a little bit as that's a lot of information. Okay, and that's done, um, but we can parse that information and extract a lot of information from dump sys. So I'm going to say adb shell dump sys, and I'm going to uh, do the grab that into less command. And uh, notice all these services, it says currently running services. All these are services that are running right now and you can get information on every single one of these services for example i want to open another terminal i sure i already have one open and uh, let's say that i wanted to get information 
on a service like, I don't know, uh, battery. Let's say, so I'm going to say ADB Chill dump says battery. And that is going to give me information on the battery, the level, uh, the voltage, temperature, uh, USB power, things like that. So this is a great command. I can do the same thing for a different uh, service. For example, and this time let's pick on Let's do CPU info, and that is going to give me information specific to my CPU. I can also do display, that is going to give me information about my display. Um, I can do also, I'm going to some of them, some, some of them that I found interesting. If you have any suggestion, uh, please write them down in the comment section. Uh, I can also do location. And uh, that is going to give me some good information, like for example, latitude and longitude um, of the network location. Okay, so up to the next section is kind of similar. It's about you know, like obtaining a system information, but this command it's get prop, uh, which is, I guess, it's short for get property. And uh, it's kind of similar to dump sys, except this one gives you more uh, shorter and smaller information about a property, especially hardware device and uh, any property within your, uh, within your uh, Android system. Um, notice that it has this um, format of key value pair. So, for example, you can let me clear the screen. You can do uh, git prop and grab that into pipe that into grep. In the, let's say that I want to find out the host name of the device, and um, that is my host name. Uh, let's say that I wanted to get the SDK version. So I can do RO build that version that SDK and that's going to give me 23. That's my SDK version. It's a fairly recent SDK version. So that is the next section. Again, if you have any suggestion, uh, write them down below. I'd, I'd like to um, uh, hear different ways that you can um, use ADB. Um, the final section. Um, it's about backing up uh, the system or your Android device. So backing up is actually fairly uh, easy. So just do ADB backup, um, APK. If you want to back up all your uh, Android packages, um, share. If you want to back up um, your um, your SD card, and finally. Um, provide the file where you want to back up. So in this case, I'm going to back up to my desktop and I'm going to name it blue backup.ab and I'm going to press enter. And notice how the Android device is going to enter into backup uh, mode. So now here, Notice that it says if you wish to encrypt the full backup data, enter a password below. Uh, you're going to remember that if you enter a password now, you're going to have to remember, <laughs> otherwise, you won't be able to restore it. So I'm going to uh, skip that and I'm going to uh, press on backup by data. And I'm going to let it finish. Um, um, the next uh, section that I wanted to cover um, is the restore. So I'm going to say ADB um, restore uh, the name of the file. So this one is in desktop blue, um, I believe it's backup AB. 
and I'm going to press enter and that is also going to open the um, the backup application so I'm going to click on uh, restore my data and so that is backup and um, the next section this is actually the, the last section I, I completely forgot it's going to be about how to reboot your device into um, into fast boot and how to unlock the device so um, we have also ADB reboot which is going to reboot the device um, we have ADB uh, reboot bootloader and uh, that is going to boot, reboot your device into fast boot. Now, once you reboot the device into fast boot, I'm not going to be able to com continue um, measuring the screen by device. And also, uh, in order to use, in order to talk to the device, we uh, we cannot use ADB. We need to use a fast boot, which is another uh, command. So I'm going to press enter. And by the way, if you're following along, be really careful here. Uh, so I'm not responsible for uh, if you lose any data in your phone. Um, once you reboot into bootloader or fast boot, you risk of losing everything in, in your phone, completely wiping it out. And, and you can even uh, risk uh, breaking your device, meaning that you will render it useless. So from here on out, be really careful. Uh, make sure that you know what you're doing before you continue because uh, I'm, I'm not responsible for what you do to your phone okay so I'm going to type enter and uh, my device is rebooting into fast boot and for some reason the okay here we go it closed now and so I'm already in fast boot mode um, so I'm going to see if uh, Fastboot can see my device. So I'm going to say Fastboot Devices. And that is my device right there. Uh, that is a good sign. Uh, my device is an OEM uh, device. So it's uh, issued by OEM manufacturer. Uh, so in order to unlock my device, um, I have to do Fastboot OEM unlock however this does not always work uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work if it doesn't work you're gonna have to troubleshoot as far as the um, the device driver for your phone you probably download them from the manufacturer and and, and compile them and, and continue to test there's a lot of testing in this involved in uh, a lot of dead end <laughs> sometimes you uh, think something is going to work and it doesn't work and so uh, have an open mind and uh, you know be able to try new things um, so I'm going to press enter the other the other command that people use is uh, fast boot flashing unlock um, but I know mine is OEM unlock so I'm going to press enter and uh, no it did not work okay so i type the command again and this time it seems to be working um, as you can see i got the prompt and i'm looking at my phone uh, it's prompting me with uh, pressing uh, volume up or down to make a selection if i press up it means that it wants to unlock the bootloader so i'm going to press the up key and as you can see bootloader start unlock section uh, unlock flow and I gave me a fail uh, unlock operation is not allowed and so at least I tried uh, like I said before sometimes it's really really difficult all the commands uh, doesn't uh, they doesn't work 100 the command don't work 100% especially when it comes to uh, unlocking the bootloader and so I think I'm going to stop right here uh, this has been a long tutorial uh, I know that staring at the screen, watching someone entering commands is not easy, especially if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, have the, um, 
you know, if you're not familiar with typing those commands, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's not easy. Uh, but again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and as always, remember to subscribe uh, to support my channel, and uh, thanks for watching.